let's review this then. It's the Bosch Max 5. That's WAA28166GB-24. And if it looks very familiar, or very similar, it does actually, to the one right next to it. And that's because this is a, I would say, generation before, but apparently there's also obviously a 7 somewhere. And I haven't got, or haven't had. That'd be interesting to come along. There is also a uh, 28169. I've had the 24 version, which obviously I got in with Broken Spider. So, you know. But there's very, very little in the way of change. Uh, but there is kind of a major change with this one. The fact that this is actually just a 5 kilo machine, and the latest one is a 5.5. They also changed the name from Quick Wash to Express Wash. But, start with the programs then. You've got 15 programs to choose from. Um, it's recommended if you are going to use the Quick Wash button, that on the cotton cycle you reduce the load to 3 kilo. But of course, without it, it will run 5 kilo. That's the maximum load. And there's no real guessing with times because they're handy writtenly here. Well, some of them are anyway. Um, but we can have a, a bit of a guess of what times are going to be. Cons 30 is around an hour and 35 minutes. 40 genes is labelled there, 100 minutes, which is an hour 40. 60 degrees is labelled there, 115 minutes, which is an hour 55. 60 intensive, which is there, is 175 minutes. Now, intensive stains is your eco cycle for this, so the machine won't actually get to 60. I think it gets to more like 45. So, from what I was kind of feeling when I was using it. Um, also, it's the only program here that doesn't use quick wash. Obviously you've got 90, which is 110 minutes, which is an hour 50. And then 60 with a pre-wash, which is about 2 hours 15. All available quick wash, so starting with 30, it's around an hour. 40 is also an hour. 60 is also around an hour. 90 will be an hour and a half. And 60 with a pre-wash is also around maybe an hour 25 minutes, or roughly that. Quick wash. Reduces the rinse count from 3 to 2, hence why they recommend uh, to also reduce the load. You can wash a full load, knowing Bosch, um, but obviously they're going to say, well, results aren't going to be that good then, are they? But, of course, it's a quick wash. Uh, you've also got reduced spin from 1400 RPM, which is the maximum spin speed for this machine, to 600 RPM. Uh, frankly, a 600 RPM is good if you're trying to reduce creasing within the load. Then we've got uh, one rinse and spin. So, fabric softener rinse followed by the full length final cotton spin, which also you can reduce the spin speed. Um, then you've got spin only, which will run uh, the entire cotton spin at 1400, which can be reduced to 600. Actually, it's more like 1200 down to 600. Drain only, which you can also still reduce the spin on for some reason. Never understood that. Then you got wool. Now, 1400 down to 600 is still there. Uh, max spin for wool is actually 800, so pressing that button will reduce it from 800 to 600. Again, quick wash is available. Wool. At 30 degrees is 55 minutes. With quick wash, it's going to be more like 40. Same with cold as well. Because it's going to be about 50 minutes, quick wash will be down to 40 minutes. Delicates is around 50 minutes. Well, again, with quick wash, it's going to be down to around 40, 45 minutes. Um, the reduced spins there as well. Now spin on delicates is 600. So actually once you press it, it actually reduces it to 400 RPM. Easy care as well. Max spin is 800 on these. Uh, max load is two and a half kilos. Half a load of man-made fibers. Um, 60 degrees is going to take around 80 to 90 minutes. 
40 degrees is labeled there, 75 minutes, and 30 degrees is around 65 minutes. But with quick wash, it's now around 45 minutes, 60 minutes, and 70 minutes. Uh, max load for delicates and wool is 2 kilo. Simple. Right at the bottom, we've got a designer crease mark that's supposed to be there, and we've got a filter. That flap flips forward, and your filter is behind there. There is no drain hose on these. Right, so door, handles here, pull it, it will unclick, like so. We've got our Vestal Lucky Likey drum. And of course it's a sealed tub as well, so once the bearings or spider goes, game over. But still, even for a 5 and the later on 6 kilo, this drum's still pretty big. It's pretty nearly there with the classics drum. Hmm, it's not much smaller. Ah, Spencer, this is your pre-wash detergent side. Um, that's if you're using a cotton stick to a pre-wash, put the detergent in there. If you're putting detergent normally in, like we are now, that all goes into this big side. And if you're adding fabric softener, whether you want it or not, it's up to you. It goes in the middle here. Now, these compartments are very big, so much so that this will have to take around 200 mil. That's 100 mil of powder in there. So that's quite clearly three to 400 mil. And this fabric softener, yeah, 30 mil there. Once filled up, you're probably looking at 120, 130 mil of fabric softener. It's a generous draw. Right, so before we uh, select a wash, the wash light will flash. And because it's flashing, that means it's ready. Once you press start, that wash light is going to go to solid. Uh, when it moves on to rinse, that's going to go solid. When it goes on to spin, that will also go solid. And once the machine has completed its cycle, it will start flashing to say end.
Right, well, to get this out of 10 then, well, just like the new Boss Max Knight next to it, it's going to get 8.5 out of 10. Um, it doesn't give you everything like a Classics does. The build quality, of course, is slightly lower than the Classics, but it still gives you everything that you want from a washing machine, cycle wise. Like having cotton 60, 40, and 90, as well as that quick wash option, which pretty much lowers every cycle to around one hour hmm it is pretty good in that sense uh, and the drum is plentiful for five kilo this is way bigger than any of its competition ah. hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give us a like don't forget to comment down below don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already um, i'd love to hear what you think about this machine and I'll see you in another video, so bye for now.